kutunsu hazwa kofi ala alahali yanzu ko wani kutunsu yayi hanar dinsa ya bashi sasuket na girma na daukaka addinin musulunci a cikin
Musa was I was with him two thousand and one when I was in Syria. Musa, Musa, in the house. I I
Where are you zooming? The zoom is on top of your hand. This one? Yeah, this one. Just move up and down. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's recording already. This is the uh, ambassador to Japan, Nigerian ambassador to Japan, speaking with Shahasa. Thank <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind sitting here. I I the head of civil service, the chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Voucher State, honorable commissioners and special advisors to the governor, 
the Chief of Staff Government House, our distinguished Grand Visitor Sheikh Hassan Sisi, the President of Afro-American Islamic Institute in the world, the Chief Imam of Medina Kala Central Mosque, Sheikh Tijani, Sheikh Bayer Osman Bauchi, the United Nations represent population representative in Nigeria, and distinguished members of the entourage of the Sheikh, distinguished Yamwa Assalamu Alaikum. Your Excellency, sir, before we begin today's activity, may I most respectfully invite Sheikh Tahir Usman Bauchi to give us opening prayers. ربنا اتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الاخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار. ربنا لا تؤاخذنا ان نسينا اخطانا، ربنا ولا تحمل علينا اسرا كما عملت بالذين من قبلنا، ربنا ولا تهملنا ولا تقتلنا به. واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا انت ومولانا فانصرنا على القبل الكافرين. ربنا لا تزن قلوبنا بعد اذ هديتنا واغفر لنا من لدنك رحمة انك انت الوهاب. ربنا اننا سمينا منادي ينادي الايمان ان امنوا بربكم فامنا. ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا كفر لنا سيئاتنا تغفر لنا الابرار. ربنا واتنا ما وعدتنا على رسلك ولا تقضينا يوم القيامه انك لا تخلف الميعاد. ربنا ذلنا انفسنا وان لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكون من الخاسرين. ربنا اتنا من لدنك رحمه وحيي لنا من امرنا رشدا. ربنا هب لنا من ازواجنا ذرياتنا قرة اعين واجعلنا للمتقين اماما. اللهم اغفر لحيينا وميتنا وكبيرنا وصغيرنا وحرنا وابدنا. وذكر ما انصانا وحاضرنا وقائمنا وطائنا واسنا وامرنا الله وصل على سيدنا محمد الفاتح المبارك. والخاتم من وصفك ناصر الحكيم الهدي والهدي الى اسرائيل المستقيم على اله حق قدره ومقداره العظيم سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون سلام على المرسلين الحمد لله رب العالمين لا من موافقا يا اكسلنسي سان اول هذا بروتوكول سوزارد توداي ان ذا جمنت هاوز يا اكسلنسي از ا ديستنجوش فيزيتر اند بيرسوناليتي ان ذا اسلامي كوالد in person of Sheikh Hassan Sisi, like I said earlier on, he is the president of the Afro-American Islamic Institute in the world. And uh, usually, every year, he comes to Nigeria to pray for peace and stability for the country. And this year, Your Excellency, God in His grace has brought him to Bochi. And he, today, he is in the government house with a delegation to pay a courtesy call on your excellency. So apart from the presidentship of the institute, he is the chief imam of the mosque of Medina in Kaulak, Senegal. And he is a well-known Islamic preacher who preaches, and most of the people that are here must have been hearing his preachings on the boys of America. Your excellency, sir, introducing to you, Sheikh Hassan Sisi. I would like to most respectfully, sir, I invite our Venerable Sheikh Tahir Usman Bauchi to introduce the occasion and other members of the Sheikh's delegation. Akram <coughs> Kila. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Your Excellency, the governor of Baushi State and all your all the members of your cabinet and your office. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are here today to pay a courtesy visit to you and to the state. And this is not the first time we come to this country. Not the first time to come to this state. As I mentioned last night at the Zawiya, at Chef Tair Osman Bauchi, that I know him over 40 years. 
And whenever I come to this country, I used to come up to Boji just to say hello to him for the sake of Allah. Because we know him with my grandfather, we know him with my father, we know him with all the big people in the Fayda affairs, in the movement of Sheikh Ibrahim My first visit to this country was 1962 with my grandfather. Up to today, whenever we come, the visit will never be completed without meeting with Sheikh Tahir Osman Bouchi. We are here today to fortify the relationship which is linking between us together. And all of it is Islamic relationship. And uh, it is very important that we are together because of Allah. Because the Prophet said, the two people who love each other because of Allah, Allah will give them shadow under the throne of God on the Day of Judgment. We know that you people, you love us. Because Sheikh Tahir Osman Bouchi, his last visit to Medina Kaulak is just about three weeks ago. We are also here after his visit. In Senegal, we have a saying that your eyes can see something you don't like. Your ears can hear something you don't like to hear. Even your mouth, you can test something you don't want, and your nose as well. You can smell something you don't like. But your feet, wherever you go, you love and you like to go to that place. We love to come to this place. We love to come to see and meet our brothers and sisters in this place. The governor, I will take this opportunity on behalf of my brothers and all the delegations came with me to express our gratitude and our thank to you for all the good things you have done for us and for all the good things you have been doing for Sheikh Tahir Osman Bouchi. He mentioned it last night that you are the first governor to help him to build a school for him. The first governor to help him with the celebration of the birthday of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. My grandfather used to tell us that all this effort we are making to celebrate the Prophet's birthday, what is the result of it? That you, mil you will be among the people who have served the Prophet. And serving the Prophet on the Day of Judgment like what? In this dunya, your car, wherever you stand, wherever you pass by, they will know that this is the governor of the state. And the servants of the Prophet they will be having their own signs wherever they will be seen, they will know that these people, they have served the Prophet during their lifetimes. It is very difficult to serve all mankind, but sometimes you can serve one person, through that one person you serve thousands of people. And no doubt, Sheikh Tahir Osman Bouchi is among those people. Allah. We are very uh, happy, very pleased of all what he narrated to me, that you have done it for him. We know, first of all, that you did it for Islam, you did it for Allah, and good things, whenever you, you are doing it, the day you meet with Allah, Allah will pay you until you say that I did not do all these good things. Because if you, my father used to tell us, Allah gives, and sometimes he lent, but most of the time he pays. Even in Quran, the payments of Allah are more than 
the givens of Allah. May Allah reward you. Amen. May Allah fortify you. Amen. May Allah bless the state of Bauchi and bless Amen. all Nigeria. Amen. May Allah bring the peace in this country and all the African countries. May Allah protect you and protect all Muslims in the state and all Muslims all over the world. Really, our heart is full of pleasure. All what we have for you, we cannot say it. But the Prophet Sallallahu said, if anybody does good to you, pay him the same thing he, he did for you. If you can't pay him, pray for him until he know that you have prayed for him to pay him back. We cannot pay you what you have done for us. But we are praying for you now at your presence. <coughs> and whenever we go back home at your absence, we will also pray for you. And both prayers are acceptable. Because the Prophet Sallallahu said, the prayer of a traveler is among the prayers Allah will definitely accept mm -hmm. until you go back home. And he also said the prayer of a Muslim for his brother in Islam at his absence is among the prayers which Allah never turned down. That's all well, both prayers, believe me, you will have it from us. Allah. May Allah bless you. May Allah bless all your activities and protect you in and out all what you need for this state and for all Nigeria. May Allah make it for you and help all those people helping you and bless you all and thank you very much. I, I, I know that Mr. Esan, our brother Esan, the representative of UNFPA is here with us with his uh, office members. For sure he will say a few words to explain the type of cooperation you want to do with your people in the state of Bauchi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Thank you. In, uh, August last year, we were here in Bauchi with the Deputy Executive Director of UNFPA, Imeda Enken. In that visit, we signed an agreement between the government of Bauchi and UNFPA. In that agreement, uh, we are about to launch three main activities. One related to safe motherhood which is antenatal care, safe delivery, postnatal care. The second activity is related to providing information, services to uh, pregnant women, as well as information and services on HIV AIDS. The third activity is related to family life education that will provide information to young people on sexually transmitted diseases as well as information how to prevent diseases relating to HIV AIDS. Recently we just concluded a baseline survey because there is no point to start a program when at the end of the program you cannot check the progress made. We just concluded a baseline survey which will provide us some useful information on the uh, state of Bauchi against which we will um, check the progress made. I am really honored to take the floor in front of uh, the Imam Sheikh Hassan Sisi as well as the governor and his uh, uh, cabinet to really thank you 
for uh, the support that we have been receiving in the government of Balchi. Because UNFPA presence here has been here for quite some time. We have an office here, which is headed by uh, Dr. Anzaku. And then we have been working closely with the states. As I mentioned yesterday, my uh, following Sheikh Hassan Sisi dates back when I was representative in Nigeria, in, in uh, Senegal, in 1998. When I met him for the first time, I was moved by his teaching. I was moved by the wide knowledge that he has of the people. I was moved by his wise knowledge of the Quran as well as what he does to alleviate the suffering of people. I witnessed myself in Kaulak, the clinic that he has there. Everybody was coming to that clinic, be it Muslim or non-Muslim. He has built a school where he's giving equal opportunity to girls and boys. Because as he usually told me, education, knowledge is something that everybody, be it a man or woman, should have. That's something which everybody should add on on his life from the day of birth till he died. So he's giving a qual opportunity to girls and boys. So we are advocating in this states and then in other states that girls should be given equal opportunity to education. Giving education to girls gives also an opportunity to a woman to reduce maternal mortality because they know what it is to get pregnant, how to take care of themselves, and then to reduce maternal mortality, which is very high in the northern region. For 100,000 people that you see on the street, 1,000 women have died already. And most of them who have not died are uh, living with some disability. With disability, you can call it DVF, you can call it uh, something else. But most of them are suffering from uh, uh, some kind of disability. Having said so, uh, our uh, uh, presence here is to follow Sheikh Sansisi, get more information, more knowledge about his teaching, but also uh, take this opportunity to pass our messages on maternal mortality and then also on how to prevent uh, physical vaginal fistula and also HIV AIDS. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Well, I've been heard from the Sheikh and the UNFP representative. I may wish to most respectfully invite His Excellency the Governor Bauchi State for the information of the Grand Sheikh. This governor is different from the other governors in the country. Right from the time he assumed office five years ago, he has done all he could to alleviate the sufferings of the people of Bauchi State. In fact, he is now ranked as the first governor in Nigeria in terms of delivery of dividends of democracy to his people. And this is one of the hallmarks of his achievements in Bauchi State. Your Excellency. Thank you. Your Honor, the Deputy Governor, the Head of Service, Honorable Commissioners and Special Advisors, the Chairman of the People's Democratic Party, the PDP, our guest special guest of honor today, we must respectfully welcome on behalf of the people and the government of Bauchi State, the Chief Imam Hassan Sese, the Imam of Medina Tilkaula, and his deputy, Sheikh Ahmed Tijani, the chief of Dagumba from Ghana, the UNFA representative in Nigeria, country representative in Nigeria, 
Madam Ishisan and Sheikh Sese, Jerry, and Sheikh Jerry. Um, of course, I will have been the chief host, but not when Madam Sheikh Dairu Uthman Bauchi is here. He is the chief host to our very august visitor. And I'm particularly happy to note with great pleasure that Sheikh Usman Dairu Bauchi, he's only using Bauchi now because he started here, but he is for Nigeria. Sheikh Dairu Bauchi, Nigeria. <laughs> he, has led, he has been a very strong inspiration to some of us that are younger generations. Distinguished members of the delegation of the Sheikh, distinguished invited guests, distinguished members of the prayer school, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Protocol Souza, the Grand Sheikh, His Excellency has spoken. But I would like to say, I will invite you most respectfully to give us closing prayers. But the kind of prayers we would like is that the Grand Sheik to do is first know whoever is performing excellently, or oh, there are people who are going to be jealous and envious of him. And so this governor has enemies all over the country because he is doing what they are not doing. And therefore, they want to see that he is not doing what he is doing. I would like the Sheik to do a special prayer for him that will protect him and make him to excel more so that they will feel more jealous and God will protect him. Rakade Wachilinka, Commissioner, Yadi Kato Awe Mokonka, Yadi Yasamu Anatash Amakumi Yasamu Taridam. Wachilinka, Commissioner Yadi Rakade. Salam Ali. Your Highness, the Emir of Bauchi State. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. On behalf of my delegation, myself, I am here to pay a courtesy visit to you and to express our gratitude and thank for the warm welcome you give to us and my delegation. And I thank you again for the good prayers you have prayed for us to continue the good work of Islam and you've been doing as Sheikh Tai Osman Bochi has explained to you. We cannot visit Nigeria without coming to Bauchi. If we do, the visit will be incomplete visits. That's why we have to come here. Gosh, this alim, this big scholar, Sheikh Tai Osman Bauchi, he spread the name of the state of Bauchi all over the world today. Many people, they know Bauchi because of him. 
and that because of the good work, the right advice is given to the Muslim Ummah in Nigeria, Senegal, Ghana, all over, wherever you mention his name, they know that they state Boji. A state name, the Boji state. I thank you again for your prayer that Islamic religion is being attacked all over. But I will give you good tidings. Allah says in the book, they want put off the light of God by their own mouth at any time. But Allah also, He refused. He used the present time to say that He refused at any time. Allah refuses that the light of God will be completed despite the non-believers. Many attacks throughout 1,400 years Islam has been facing. But up to now, it will never defeat the promises of Allah will take place, no doubt. He said, Inna na unazzalna zikra wa inna na ula hafizun. We are the one who revealed the Quran. And we are the one who will protect it. When Allah said this, Islam and the Quran was known only in the Arabia. Today, Quran is the most famous book in the world, despite the non-believers. They cannot add any word to it. They cannot also take any word out of it. Anybody who will recite Quran, if he makes a little mistake, Allah will send the youngest child to correct him. That is part of the protection Allah gave this book. And the same protection also all the believers they will have by the unity, by getting together, by understanding each other, Allah will protect us. So Allah already said in the book, he said, Allah promised those who believe among you and do the righteous deeds that He will fortify them and make them replace the previous people in, on this earth. And He will fortify them to practice their religion, which Allah Himself is satisfied with it. And He will replace their fears. Instead of fear, they will be safe. They will feel safetyness. All those promises are in the book. That's why I said, as long as we Muslims we are together, Allah will help us. Allah said, Wala Allah man He will help those who are helping him. And helping Allah means just to follow his orders and stop where Allah wants us to stop. Once again, thank you very much for welcoming us with the delegation. And among this delegation, that's my brother Sheikh Tijani Sise and Chief Dagomba Al Haj Abdul Qadir Tahir and uh, Mr. Esan, the representative of UNFPA in Nigeria today. But he has a lot of work to do in this state. I think if Allah give him the opportunity in the future, he will come back to speak with you and about all the projects.
which he has for both the state. And all the rest of my delegation, all of us who are saying that thank you very much. May Allah help you. May Allah bless you. May Allah fortify you and protect you and protect the state of Turkey. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sorry, I hope I'm not breaking the protocol. You mentioned quite a, quite a lot uh, on our ship here in Bautin. I want to assure you that he has been doing all he can and people are understanding. I told him that uh, when I was away in India, when I had an operation uh, for about eight months there, on my return, which I'm still having some problem with my legs and hands. I told him that I've seen a lot of uh, asset on the video on which you uh, have presented it to the people. I want you to give me uh, copies of that of those assets so that I will be listening to it with my family and I understand it again and that will certainly help us. Uh, Surprisingly, uh, within a day or two, he brought all the cassettes to me, and I'm enjoying them now. I find it very helpful, <coughs> very good to me and my family, and of course to every person who might have seen it. And those who have not seen it, I ask them to try and see the, the, the cassette. Uh, there are so many, but I enjoy listening and looking at them, which is the uh, greatest, uh, immense uh, help to to all Muslims. If I go into that lot, I will share with you.
Mas isso é pequeno do dia. Hello. Nam. Nam, Mohammed. Ah, what is that? Gamuna Muna you bring glory with Tila. They know the way to pack themselves.
They are going to enter. They are going to enter. We are very pleased and we are very happy to be in Gombe today. We used to come to this country, to this city, but our coming today is different. We have met the warm welcome from the Islamic Brotherhood, from the Tijani people, and from your office. We met Alaji Tanko and Alaji Shew at a distance of 20 kilometers. They come on your behalf to welcome us. <coughs> Jazakallah anna kulla khair of doing all that for us. May Allah bless you. May Allah bless Gombe and bless all Nigeria and bless the people of Nigeria. We are here to pay a courtesy visit to our second home, which is Nigeria. We used to come to this country with my grandfather and later on with my father because we know the strong ties linking between you and our people in town. And all of it is Islam. We are very pleased to be Muslims. It is a gift. Allah gives whomever with whom he like. Whoever lived all his life without saying La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah that means Allah has created him but he does not like him. If Allah likes you, he will make you Muslim. Muslim means a complete submission to the will of God. Islam is a religion of peace, is a religion of brotherhood, religion of love, religion of cooperation. Even with non-Muslims, Islam opens ways for us to live with them in peace and cooperate with them as long as they are not fighting us in our religion, as long as they are not fighting us drive us away from our homelands. And that is I in Quran. Allah said, La ilha kum Allahu ani ladina lam yuqatilu kum fi dini wa lam yukriju kum min diyarikum an tabarru kum wa tuqsatu ilayhim min Allah yafiqun yitsatsi. Islam is a great gift from Allah to 
all the people whom he likes. And nobody is forced to eat. Everybody coming to this religion, he or she is coming to it with his own sound mind. I said it is a gift because Joseph alayhi salam is a prophet. His father, Jacob, is a prophet. His grandfather, Ishaq, is a prophet. His great grandfather, Abraham, is a prophet. With all that additional to that, Allah made him the king of Egypt at his time. And half of beauty of this world, Allah gave it to him. What he was asking, Allah to give to him. He said, Rabbi Qad Ajaytani Mir Mulk, Wa Allamtani Min Tawil Al-Ahajith, Fatir Al-Samawati Wal-Ard, Anta Wadihi Fi Dunya Wal-Akhirah, Tawafani Musliman, Wa Al-Hakmi Bissalih. With all those blessings, Allah blessed him. What he was asking Allah is that Allah make him die as a Muslim and raise him up to the righteous people. If I say Islam, all the previous prophets from Adam to Jesus, all of them, they call people to Islam. Islam is a complete submission to the will of God. To do what Allah wants you to do, and stop where Allah wants you to stop. <coughs> That's why I said, we Muslims, Allah, give us the great gifts. We should say Alhamdulillah for the gifts. For that brotherhood, for those ties between your people and uh, our grandfather, we come today to pay you a visit. My last trip to this country was about 20 years ago. But my heart always is with you. Because always we receive guests from this country, from Gombe, coming to stay with us as if they are staying with their own family. The same feeling we have today when we come to you. We are staying with you as if we are with our family. We are our with our brothers and sisters. We know that you people, you love us, but we also, we make Allah our witness that we love you. And the Prophet said, al the two who love each other because of Allah, Allah will give them shadow under his throne on the day of judgment. That's why we are here with my brother Sheikh Tijani, with the big alim whom everybody knows, Sheikh Zahir Usman Goji, Sheikh Dabomba, and all the other people who are in this delegation today. Just to fortify the unity between us and our brothers in this country. If I say our brothers, Muslims, they are included. Even non-Muslims, we have friends who are not Muslims in this country, the same way Muslims are coming to Kaulak to pay us visit, they also are coming to Kaulak to pay us visit. And we treat them as our brothers. Because, as I said, Islam is for everybody. Whoever accepted it is your religion. Who doesn't accept it and give us peace, we can still deal with him based on justice, <coughs> and uh, we should be nice to him also, as Allah ordered us to do. Your Excellency, our hearts are full of pleasure, full of happiness for the warm welcome, for the hospitality, 
for the help and assistance we receive from everybody since we came to your country. And from you, first of all. We have your permission. Not only he welcomed us, but last night he came about three times just to make sure that we are in a good condition. All that we know that it is from you and from your hospitality. And all that is indicating the strong belief you have in your heart. Because the Prophet said, Man kana yumin bilahi wa yawmil akhiri falikrim taifahu. Wa man kana yumin bilahi wa yawmil akhiri falikrim jahahu. Wa man kana yumin bilahi wa yawmil akhiri falikrim khairan aw yasir. Whoever believes in Allah and on the day of judgment, he should be nice to his guests. I bear witness that you be nice to us. And whoever believes in Allah and on the day of judgment, you should be nice to his neighbor. Whoever believes in Allah and on the day of judgment should say good things or he should shut up. That's the saying of the Prophet. <coughs> May Allah fortify you. Amen. May Allah bless you. Amen. May Allah protect you. Amen. May Allah bless Bombay State and bless everybody in this state. Amen. We have nothing to pay back the good things you have done for us except to pray for you. And that the Prophet said, if anybody does good to you, good to him. If you can't, Pray for him until he know that you have prayed for him. We are here praying for you. Express our gratitude and thank. And if we go back home, we will pray for you as well. And both prayers, I am assuring you that Allah will accept it. Because the Prophet said, a prayer of a traveler is accepted until he goes back to his house. We are travelers. He also said, a prayer of a Muslim for his brother in Islam at his absence is among the prayers which Allah never turned down. Both prayers, I am assuring you that we will do it for you and for your state and for your people. May Allah help you. May Allah be with you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa ta'ala wa barakatuh. Uh, Honorable Commissioners, we are present, the Secretary of the State Government, the Head of Service, Special Advisors, Special Assistants, Permanent Secretaries. The leader for the Af African American Islam Institute. And I understand the leader of the Tijaniya Worldwide, Sheikh Hassan Sisi. He is second in command, Sheikh Tijani. Our father, Sheikh Bahim Bochi, and other distinguished members of the delegation, including our brother from South Africa, along from Ghana, and others. The members of the press, lady and gentlemen. First of all, we, we wish to extend our thanks to Almighty Allah for bringing us to this day and sharing us this moment where we are in a position to receive the direct grandson of the late Sheikh Kalak, Brian Kalak. May you sorry, rest in peace. Amen. And other very high ranking leaders of the powerful Tijaniya sect, both in Nigeria and abroad. We thank you.
thinking, we were disappointed. And may He continue to give us such very, very important opportunities and blessings. Amen. Sheikh, on behalf of myself and the people, both Muslims and non Muslims, Ogombe State and the government of Ogombe State, I wish to formally welcome you and members of my delegation. First to Nigeria, secondly to Gombe, both in a second home. Um, we, we pray to Almighty God to continue to give you the opportunity to render the very useful services you have been given to Islam and humanity. Amen. And we hope your stay in Nigeria will be of immense importance, not only to the Islamic community, but to the entire country. In terms, especially in terms of peaceful coexistence between various religious groups in this country. I rightly said Islam is a religion of peace and we keep telling everybody who cares to listen that Islam is a religion of peace and we preach peace, we embrace peace, we practice peace and we pray for peace for ourselves and for our country and for Muslims worldwide and for humanity. And we want our brothers and sisters who are the Muslims to understand this very important fact that Islam is a religion of peace, it's not a mere rhetoric, it's the truth believed by all Muslims. And we pray to God to enable all Nigerians. <coughs> I said this very important point. Because the moment you understand that your brother is interested in peace, even if you are not interested in peace you yourself, you will be ashamed to confront a man of peace. And therefore, we believe this kind of visit, which very important persons like you did that undertake, to our country will undoubtedly help to those religious tension and the misunderstanding in our country. This is because when you come and preach this to our followers, don't accept it. And anybody that comes later to teach anything contrary will be rejected. And therefore, we, we appreciate your visit to Nigeria and to Mombasa in particular. Um, some of us that were young, when, young at that time when uh, I am sure your grandfather was training and uh, we knew, we knew, we grew up to see the leadership of your family. We all know it, I think. No one, especially Muslims of my own age, will say he doesn't understand. Even if he's not Tijani, there's no way he, can, he, he, he will fail to respect, respect the dignity and contributions of your family. I think this is a good knowledge. And uh, we pray to God to continue to grant you and those who come after you, your children, your children, children, your grand grandchildren, to continue to give this very, very important leadership to the Muslims worldwide. We are very proud 
that one of us is based in America and I've been told is instrumental to the converging of Southerns and Southerns of Muslim, Muslims in America, in Europe, and in other parts of Africa. And this is something that we have to be proud of, and we're really very proud. And we pray to God to continue to give you the wisdom and the strength, the capacity and the willingness to continue with this your very, very important uh, work of rendering this vital service to Islam. Finally, I wish to express my sincere thanks and the thanks of my government to the Muslim community in Gombe, particularly the Yanya group, for giving us total support before and after the elections. We we'll thank them sincerely and may God bless them. We we'll also wish to thank, in particular, the leaders here at Kairi Bochi, Sheikh Magazi Dr. Ibrahim, and other leaders of this sect in Gombe for the great understanding that they have with us. And we pray to God to continue to give this very good relationship that exists further boost so that our society will benefit from this very important relationship. Uh, on behalf of myself and the people of the state, Sheikh, we wish you a very happy stay in Nigeria, in Gombe, and as I understand from Gombe, you are going to some other parts of the country. We wish you a very successful and peaceful tour, and send the journey back home to our respective destinations. May God bless us all. Amen. Thank you. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa
understand that the woman is also with her husband, Your Excellency. Next is Mr. Esan Nyangora, United Nations representative. Mr. Esan Nyangora. Dr. Taiwo, the next person. Dr. Taiwo is also from the United Nations team, followed by Mr. Lawan. Mr. Lawan from the United Nations. We have three people from South Africa. First is Mr. Sabir. Mr. Sabir. Sabir. From South Africa. Mr. Sabir. 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 Mr. Next is Mala Musa from Ghana, the representative of Khalifa General in Nigeria. Your Excellency, the last but not the least is Sayyida Momsi Ahmad Nyas. Sayyida Momsi. <laughs> Thank you very much, Your Excellency. With this, we have come to the end of this auspicious occasion and shall we observe the national anthem. Next topic.
Masa sekecil dua ribu tujuh ratus dua puluh sekecil dua ratus, mungkin dia mahu Allah tak kamu sudah hari Allah bermu cara dosa Allah kuma yang ada dosa itu dah lalu ya. Good evening viewers and welcome to this special edition of our discussion program on the television service of Borno Radio Television Broadcasting on the television service of Borno Radio Television Transmitting here in Medjugorje. Uh, today we have a very important <coughs> guest, a renowned Islamic scholar of international repute. Uh, he is the president and founder of the African American Islamic Institute and the chief imam of Medina to Kaulak Senegal. Uh, he is no other person but Sheikh Hassan Sisi. Uh, we shall be discussing on his biography and other aspects of his personal life and then we shall be touching on other aspects of Islamic issues. Uh, sir, you are highly welcome to this special edition of our program. Thank you. Uh, I would like to first of all start on your biography. I said Jerry will talk about it. Let us get it on your own. Then all to the program. Uh, sir, you are highly welcome to this you. program. Uh, first of all, I would like to start with asking you about your mission in Bonastan. Our viewers may wish to know what is your mission in Bonastan. Alhamdulillah. Praise be to Allah. Peace and blessing upon his beloved Prophet, Sayyidina Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My mission today to Borno State is to come to pay visit to my brothers and sisters of Islam in this state, particularly the followers and the family and the Khalif of Sheikh Abu Fatih, Sheikh Abu Fatih. I used to come to this country over 40 years ago to meet with the late chef because we know him one of the big caliphs big muqaddams big scholar big knowledgeable of God and one of the deputies of my grandfather, Sheikh Ibrahim Yes. For that, we used to come to pay him visit throughout his lifetime. As well as his relationship with my father, we were very close. I cannot come to Nigeria without coming to his former state to see him or to be, see his family and to see his followers. I remember repeatedly he used to tell us, don't 
live my family down after my death. Don't let them. I narrated the story to the children a moment ago, and I told them, we will never leave you. We will be with you forever, as long as we are alive. We come to visit them. As a Muslim, to visit his brother in Islam. Because, as we know that, exchanging visit, among the results, of exchanging visits that Allah will love. Because in the hadith, a Muslim man was traveling from a village to another village. And down on the road, an angel appeared to him in the shape of a man and asked him, Where are you heading? I said, I'm going to that village. For what for? You have business or you have some wealth you want to, to grow? He said, no, I have a brother in Islam and I am going to pay him a visit for the sake of Allah. The angel said to him, I am not a man, I am an angel. Allah sent me down to inform you that the same way you love your brother for him, him, Allah also, he loves you. We know from there that whenever you pay visit to your brother in Islam, you will have the same result after the visit. And if Allah loves you, finish. You will be among the happy people in this life and in the left. That's why we are here today pay visit to our brothers in Islam for the sake of them. Having said that, uh, a lot of people misconceive what Islam is all about. So in view of this, what is Islam? You know, Islam is a religion of peace. Muslim should be a peaceful man, live in peace, make peace, give peace. It's not a religion of terrorism or terrorists as the enemies of Islam are saying all over. Because the word Islam itself means peace. Complete submission to the will of God. We don't the five pillars of Islam to say that there is no God but Allah, Muhammad is the messenger of God, to say the five daily prayers, fast the months of Ramadan, pay zakat if you have wealth, and perform hajj if you have means and ability to go to Mecca for it. But when the Prophet Describe a Muslim. He said, Al Muslimu, man salim al Muslimu na milisari yaminti. Muslim is him whom the other Muslims are said from both his tongue and his hands. I will take this opportunity to narrate a hadith of the Prophet. It's just five words. He said, Avoid the forbidden things. You will be the best worship. Allah has nothing to gain if all people get together.